Hey guys, back again, and I got a UU match against Terra Destroyer for you today. Uh, I'm gonna leave with my Mammoth Swine. He's gonna lead with a Choice Specs Jolteon, which gave me a lot of problems. He's gonna switch out here. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was gonna go for the rocks, kind of foolishly. Um, I don't know if, I guess he doesn't have, like, HP Grass, or maybe he's got HP Ice, or whatever. Uh, I figured I could take a Shadow Ball, and, you know, HP Grass is not too common. It's mostly Ice, because Dragons and whatever. Uh, not too many of them in UU now, but, you know, he, he was OU last, um, last gen, so I guess the team were still there. So I'm gonna go to Melodic to, uh, you know, wall this, uh, hit on top because I'm like, he doesn't have Intimidate, right? But he has Toxic and Rapid Spin, so I'm like, why are you a Technotop with a bulky spread and move set? Um, it's really weird, uh, so I don't know. Um, whatever, no big deal. I'm just gonna go for the Scald again, try and get the burn, because I figure, you know, even though he's not offensive, it's still gonna be nice, the residual damage, and and just, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm not going to get the burn. Here, I figure I might as well go for the rest. As he's going to switch out into his, uh, his Jolteon. Uh, and, yeah, so I'm going to get my health up. I figure I don't want to take a Choice Specs Thunderbolt. It's probably going to do, like, three, four hundred, almost 400 damage. It's probably going to be close to a KO. Because I am not specially defensive at all. And max defense. So, uh, so yeah. I'm gonna go to my mail swine, take the, uh, Volt Switch. He's gonna be stuck inside the, uh, inside, stuck in. And, uh, I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake, knowing now that he has a spinner. Which I was not counting on, uh, previously. Because I know I gotta kill this Hitmon top. Because Jolteon really threatens my, like, entire team. It can pretty much kill everyone once my mail swine dies. Um,. So I need those rocks up for when it keeps, you know, switching in, switching out, switching in, switching out. Uh, just get that residual damage on. But, I mean, I have priority, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, so I'm going to have to save my Mammoth Swine. I'm not going to bother getting up rocks just so he can kill me. So I'm going to go to my own Melodic. Uh, his is actually offensive. And um, he doesn't have the HP Grass or Electric. I don't know um, what other moves he would have. But yeah, he's going to go into his Jolteon. I am going to Sleep Talk. Unfortunately, I am going to get the Rest, which is completely useless. I always seem to get the Rest a lot. Bleh. Um, but yeah, he's going to hit me with a Shadow Ball, because he's going to overpredict, which I was counting on. Uh, and yeah, that is going to do about 100. So, you know, that's 80 base power. You figure a 270 is about three and a half times stronger, so it's going to be close to a one-hit KO. Uh, so he definitely don't want to take it, but I know he's going to have to, you know, stay in and Shadow Ball or, you know, switch out. So I'm just going to go for the Dragon Tail. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's going to send in his Charizard. I know he's not going to want to stay in with his Charizard. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to predict the... well... <laughs> I know he's going to switch, but I'm still going to go for the Scald anyways. And uh, thankfully, he's going to bring back his in his Jolteon. Scald's going to do not a lot. I was kind of disappointed. The burn would have really helped, because that would have, uh, you know, that would have added to the residual damage. I'm going to go to my Mammoth Swine here. I know he's going to uh, Thunderbolt or Volt Switch again. Uh, so I'm going to take this opportunity to just get up my Rock, since the Spinner is dead. He's going to go into his Golurk. Which, um, I find kind of weird. I'm like, yeah, you know I have ice attacks, right? I'm going to go for the icicle crash. I'm like, this is going to kill, or maybe it'll flinch. He is going to live with, uh, I believe he told me it was 16 HP, if I uh, remember correctly. Uh, and he is going to hit me with an earthquake and kill me, and then take himself out with a life orb. Um, which kind of sucks, because I'm like, now I don't have my, uh, you know, electric immunity that I needed to pair with my, uh, my, uh, my melodic. So anyways, I'm going to go hit my top here, but it's really Zorark, and I'm going to get the Sucker Punch off, just get a lot of additional damage, which is really nice. He's going to Volt Switch. It's going to kill me, <laughs> because Zorark is not defensive. Yes. Um, so yeah, Jolteon remains a problem, but he can only switch in, like, 
two or three more times because of stealth rocks, so that's fine. Um, but I figure he can just basically come in and just hit me with Thunderbolt and like sweep the rest of my team. So I was really worried about it. The only thing that could possibly take it is uh, my Victini because it has you know, natural special defense and HP just at all at hundreds. So uh, I'm like, I have to keep Victini at full health. It's my only chance of taking a Thunderbolt. Um, that or perhaps my Melodic, but it'd have to be at full HP, like absolutely full HP. Uh, so I'm just going to go hit my top. Hit my own top, sorry. Uh, and I'm just going to do some close combats. It's not going to do a whole lot, despite him being offensive, because it still is naturally bulking. I'm going to go to my own Melodic. And uh, yeah, knowing that he doesn't have... Uh, the, the hidden power to hit me, I'm going to just take his Hydro Pumps and Ice Beams all day long. And uh, I'm just going to go for the... Uh, what did I go for? I think I go for the Scald here, predicting the switch. Yes, I go for the Scald. Uh, he's going to switch into his Weavile, who is going to take the Scald, not nicely. And, guess what? 30% chance he's going to get burnt. Not that it really mattered. You're going to see later... Um, that his, uh, his damage is kind of pitiful. Um, I mean, it sucks. He was upset about it, but I, I told him, I'm like, it's not too big of a deal. He's going to switch into his Jolteon, his Death Fodder. Um, I'm like, you could have just went into your Melodic. But I was really happy at this point. I'm just like, yes, now Jolteon's out of the way. I don't even have to worry about it anymore. I was really worried about it, but, you know, now I'm, I'm not because it's dead. So that was really good. He's going to send his Charizard. He's going to go for the Earthquake. And uh, that is going to do an astounding, like, 110. He was like, how did that do so little? And then I'm like, well, I'm max defense. Which I guess is why um, he sacrificed a Jolteon. He figured, I don't know. I mean, he saw Shadow Ball damage. He should have been able to figure out that Thunderbolt would have done a lot um, but I guess, you know, he just assumed I was specially defensive, but nope, I'm max defense. I, uh, I like to maximize my Marvel scale boost. So yeah, he's going to go into his, uh, Melodic. I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail, send out, uh, Weavile again. He's going to get hurt by the Burn and the Rocks. And, um, yeah, that is going to be one barely living Weavile. So here you go. He gets the Night Slash off on me, and uh, that does 66 damage. So if he wasn't burned, that would have been, you know, a 3, maybe 4 hit KO. Plus, I could have rested, and my Marvel Scale would have activated, and it would have done even less. So that's why I said the burn didn't really matter. He's going to go into his Melodic here. Uh, I guess he doesn't have Recover, or he just didn't want to stall it out. He's going to run. I told him not to, because I was going to switch to my top and uh, fodder out, and then just kill it with a fusion bolt with my Victini, but you know he ran anyway to save some time. So that's the battle. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and see you guys next time.